Hey, welcome to another installation video by Alps Electrical. This is a solar installation in Darlington in the northeast of England, and it's a 7.2 kilowatt system with 10 kilowatts of batteries. Let's take a look. This was a really nice job, lovely customer. We give them a couple of proposals, one with a G98, one with G99. How it turned out was the roof at the back had a better orientation than the roof at the front. So, all right, mate. Do you want me to do it? Okay, so, where was I? the roof at the back of this property has a better orientation than the roof at the front. I know the customer had, had a few other proposals where they were recommending the same split front and back. However, we recommended from looking at our system, the split of 10 panels at the back and six panels at the front. And that seems to be working out very nicely. Uh, this customer is achieving great generation. We are a month and a half since we installed. So it is a revisit. Uh, so it's great to see the customer happy. we decided to get our supply from. So we put our small consumer unit in here. We've got our first AC isolator and then we've run out in armored cable all the way around and then clipped nice and neat by our fantastic apprentice Leo all the way around, neat as you like, straight into the lean to. So here we are in the customer's lean to. Now this is where we decided to put everything, the inverter, the batteries, the customer's consumer unit in this particular house is right in the middle of the house. So couldn't be any more awkward to get to. We wanted to stay away from that. And that's why we put the consumer unit outside in the meter cupboard. We've run our steel wire armored all the way around to the lean-to and then out from the lean-to and up into the loft with conduit. So completely keeping everything free from inside, no damage inside whatsoever. So what we've gone with here is the six kilowatt Fox inverter. We like Fit and Fox. It's a great brand, good quality, good connectivity. It's got a great app. So we've gone with the six kilowatt inverter because as explained earlier, you've got the G98 or the G99 process that you can follow. G98 is anything under 16 amps. In my home, I went G98 because on my roof, I could achieve a maximum of around four point, I think I'm about 4.9 kilowatts, which 3.7 kilowatts is the cutoff for G98. So you wanna be achieving an array slightly above the inverter size. Whereas on this roof, it's got plenty of space and it lent itself to jumping up to the next bracket of the G99 and generating much more energy. We did actually supply a couple of quotes, which we generally do with customers, give them the option. Look, there's a, an option for G98. Depends what people's budgets are, but look, this is what you can potentially generate if you go down the G99 route. So we achieved 7.2 kilowatts on this roof, and then we put in 10 kilowatt of battery. Because of the customer's usage annually, he said that it's working absolutely perfectly for him. So that's good. So yeah, so we've managed to fit everything here nicely. We've got the, got the DC isolator here uh, so that you can turn off the solar generation if you wanted to work on, on the system. We've got the uh, second AC isolator here with the generation meter and we have the batteries below. These are great, these batteries, because they are easily added to the stackable about the size of a, an old VHS player, a bit heavier though, about 22 kilos each. Um, so you can easily stack them. You can go up to 20 kilowatts per BMS. The BMS is the control unit on the top. Um, so we'll go into the Fox app and we'll show you this. See what he's generating at the minute. It's not a particularly nice day today. We'll go on to his inverter. His total yield so far since, um, since we installed it, on the 4th of July is 1,154 kilowatts hours. So that's pretty good for a month and a half. Very good, in fact. Uh, and you can click into real-time data here. This is what I really like about the Fox app. It's great, you've got, um, as you can see, you've got your solar generation coming in. 
and, and that's feeding 0.146 kilowatts to the battery. We've got 0.509 kilowatts coming in at the minute. Like I say, it's not a nice day today. It's very cloudy at the moment. Um, and then we've got 0.146 kilowatts going to the battery. If we have a little look at the battery, as you can see, it's 95% charged. So uh, it's just topping itself up. Uh, we'll go back to that, back in there. So yeah, the house is only drawing 0.309, so 300 watts. So as soon as this battery is full, the customer will be exporting. Thank you for watching another installation video by Alps Electrical. We hope you enjoyed that one. Please like and subscribe and follow for more. See you next time.